I'm Emily and welcome once again to my channel. Today I am starting a brand new show. Today I'm starting uh, Guardian episode one. I'm so excited and I'm calling this whole week in which I'm starting all new shows. I'm calling it like the second season for my channel. I feel like Maybe because I finished all of the previous shows that I was reacting to at the same time, it feels like the end of an era, like the closure from the first part of uh, my channel. For those who, you know, it's the first time that I'm watching one of my videos, uh, I reacted to The Untamed, to World of Honor, and to Cherry Magic. And even though I started these shows at very different times, they have varying numbers of episodes. I happened to finish all of them more or less at the same time. I don't know how that happened. It wasn't on purpose or anything like that, but it it's it was what it was. So I'm starting three brand new shows uh this week, uh starting with Guardian today. Then I'm going to do uh the sleuth of Ming D D Dynasty on Wednesday and then I'm going to do um the Don't Who Have Four uh I think the actual name is uh the Master of Diabolism or something like that. Oh god. I every time that I I want to say that I'm going to start that show, I forget the name. I don't know what it was, I don't know what it is. It's just all these shows are based on the same novel, but they all have very different names. And I am very old, so I get very easily confused. But I think it is like the master of diabolism? The found no, the founder. It's the founder of diabolism. That's it. Uh that's what I'm starting, I'm doing on uh Friday. Um I chose those shows uh, essentially because I I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Although I know, well, there were some differences. It's not like all of the shows that I did before were the same. Um, obviously, Cherry Magic is, is Japanese and is modern, so <laughs> definitely that one wasn't the same. But when it comes to World of Honor of the Untamed, they're, although they may look similar in the sense that they both look that they take place in ancient China. Um, they are very different in terms of the genre and obviously the story, but they still, there are shows that require a lot of me in terms of remembering characters. <laughs> Essentially, both shows had a lot of characters that I have to remember and a lot of things that were very new to me, a lot of new concepts. And I felt like for this, uh, let's say, season of my channel, I was looking for things that were, you know, a little bit less demanding of me, essentially. Um, so obviously Guardian, which is a, a modern show, and for what I understand, you know, it has like a set number of characters and that's it. It's not like we have 39 or something like that and tame. Um, the other, uh, the Sleuth of Min um, Dynasty, I think is pretty much the same. Obviously, it also takes place in the past, but I I don't think, I, well, I don't know... <sighs> God, I don't know enough about Chinese history to make a difference. But obviously, I think um, War of the One or the Untamed happened more like in a fantasy or an invented universe. And I'm not so sure about um, the Sleuth of Ming Dynasty because I actually don't know anything about it. But I have the impression that maybe it's not so much ancient China, but maybe it is. But it's definitely, it, it. I think it has less characters. I'm hoping. I'm hoping because I think it's also about like a team investigating or a group of people investigating. So I'm banking on that. And obviously, well, the founder of Diabolism, um, I already know the characters for that one, so I think I'm fine. Uh, so essentially, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you're interested, you can check, uh, you know, my other reactions the rest of the week because I actually haven't recorded them yet, obviously, or, you know, uh, when they, when they appear, you can check them out. And um, let's talk about Guardian. I don't know a lot about this show. 
I know some things about this show, but uh, not a lot in terms of the actual story. What I do know about this show is that it's based on a BL novel that was also written by the same the same author that wrote um, Word of Honor. And I know that the original story is more like supernatural type of story, like a, a story with super, a lot of supernatural elements. And I know that because of censorship, they had to change it to instead of supernatural rather than science fiction. Um, and I think that's all I know about the story. Um, I, I've seen the two main characters, or what I assume is that are the, like the technically, I guess, the couple of the story, although obviously I know that this is not going to be, um, you know, explicit in any way. Uh, and, you know, they're both handsome. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was one of the reasons why I chose this show, other than the, you know, more limited amount of characters. And also the fact is, you know, very ac- very easy to access in uh, YouTube. Although about that, I have to say... I have some issues with the subtitles from uh, YouTube. And I think from Yoku, I think, isn't Word of Honor also on Yoku? And the subtitles of Word of Honor were something else. But I I, I, I just don't, I mean, I don't want to sound like too picky or anything like that. Although, on the other hand, I assume that the people who did these subtitles, I assume they are professionals. So I feel a little bit less bad criticizing them, but I just, I feel like these were done by people who not a lot of experience subtitling things because not only, and again, I'm not judging the ones in this show in particular, maybe the ones in this show are impeccable and then I'll have to shut my mouth and apologize to them. But based on the ones for the word of honor, they weren't great all of the time. Like, Obviously, I don't understand Chinese, so I can't say whether the translation itself was good. But already having so many like spelling mistakes and having so many some yeah so many grammar mistakes, that definitely is a very big red flag to me. There was a lot of things that seemed to indicate that there were people who were very experienced in translation, um, and also people who maybe. I think possibly uh, they weren't English native speakers or even maybe something closer to bilingual, uh, you know, with English, because definitely some of the phrasing was so awkward and so difficult to understand. And I think especially for a show like Word of Honor, obviously I'm not going to say anything about the show in case somebody hasn't seen it, but... It's already a confusing show. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that I'm particularly stupid. But up to the last episode, there were things that I still didn't understand. And it's like, it's what it is. It's, it's, that's it. It's fine. Uh, I think when you have those types of shows that maybe are complicated, you have a lot of characters, you have a lot of things to understand, having, making the subtitles more difficult to understand is not you know, it's not helping, essentially. And the other aspect of the subtitles that I personally didn't like, it was the length of the subtitles, like the, like the technical aspects of the subtitles, how to break lines between subtitles, how many characters should you be including, how many words should you be including. Not words, actually. We usually, I think, our characters. Um the subtitles were so long, like only one line from one side of the screen to the other. And that was so distracting. It's so, it makes things so much difficult to read. Just break, just a, a break in the middle. Like, oh. So I hope these are a little bit better. And if they're not, uh, I would be very open for recommendations of places where I can see Guardian for free with a, with better subtitles hopefully but i think i suspect that maybe i'm asking too much because all of the shows that i've seen like all of the chinese oh all of the chinese shows i only seen two i'm not an expert but at least the two like from the two shows that i've seen uh not neither of them had a very good uh you know 
subtitles. Um, I mean, I watch the Untamed on Netflix and Netflix, <laughs> you already know. At least technically they are fine. Um, Netflix had other problems with the subtitles, but not uh, the technical aspect at least. But the Word of Honor ones kill me. So, Yoku, I hope these ones are a little bit better. I'm already distracted by the fact that it has like also Chinese subtitle behind but I hope I manage to forget that uh, very soon. So I, as you can see, I already skipped the intro. I don't know. I know that Chinese shows tend to be very revealing in the intro. So I just skipped it just in case. I have no idea. Maybe it, it was completely safe. But just in case, I skipped it. Because I don't want to see anything I'm not supposed to see, uh, like, you know in the future um anything else that i have to say about guardian i don't think so i think uh this is it so i guess i just i just have to start the show so let me check that i'm have <laughs> let me check that i have english subtitles because yeah there we go perfect okay uh so let's just let's just watch the show and i can say how nice it feels that i know that this video is probably going to be no longer than an hour because my last video was two hours 40 of me just talking without stopping because i mean i think you can probably tell by listening to this but i don't actually edit this i just start recording and then when i stop i stop i don't if i make mistakes in the middle i just don't edit them because <laughs> well on the one hand i'm lazy but also i don't have a lot of time to do a lot of editing and also i don't have the ability just, you know, <laughs> I'm not very good with video. So, um, I, I'm just, I'm just glad that I know that I, I probably won't be talking that much today. So let's just, uh, start the show right now. <laughs> 